Welcome back to another episode of Cricut Design Space Basics. I'm Laura from Laura's Crafty Life. Today we're discussing using the Arrange tool in Cricut Design Space. The Arrange tool allows you to change the order in which objects appear on the canvas. This tool can move items forward and backward, and these changes will be reflected in the Layers panel. The objects on the bottom of the Layers panel will be behind all other objects on the canvas. When adding multiple objects or text to a project, you often need them to appear in a certain order on the canvas and in your project. Anytime you add a new object, it will appear on top of all your other images or text. Using the Arrange tool allows you to change the order in which these objects are displayed on the canvas and in the Layers panel. So let's start by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space. You'll find the Arrange tool in the Edit bar at the top of the screen on the desktop. So let's add a few shapes to the canvas so we can see how this tool works. We're going to add a heart, a circle, and a star. And I'm going to go ahead and change the colors so it makes it a little easier to see what we're working with here. So you can see that the circle is on top of the heart. And you can also see this in the layers panel. The heart is on the bottom and the circle is on top. So let's say that we wanted the heart to be on top of the circle. Once we've clicked on the circle, we can click Arrange and then Send Backward, and now the heart is on top of the circle. And let's say now we have another shape. So we've got a circle, a star, and a heart. And you can see in the Layers panel, it's circle, heart, star. So the circle's on the bottom, then the heart, then the star. So let's say we want to make the circle on top. We would click Circle, Arrange, bring to front. And now the circle's on the top, and you can see it over here in the Layers panel that it's also on the top. So now let's talk about what the different Arrange options mean. So you've got bring to front, bring forward, send backward, and send to back. So if you use either bring forward or send backward, that moves your object one layer up. So let's say we want the heart to be on top. If we only click bring forward instead of bring to front, the heart is now, instead of being on the bottom, it's in the middle. But let's say we want the star to be on top. If we click the star and then click Arrange, Bring to Front, now the star is on top of both shapes. So to help you remember, you can look at the little icons next to each of the words, and this shows you that Bring to Front and Send to Back moves the object to the back or the front of the entire stack of objects. Send forward and backward moves them either one layer forward or one layer backward. You can also arrange items by moving them in the Layers panel. So you can see the order is heart, circle, star. So there's the heart, and then the circle, and then the star. Let's say we want the star to be on the bottom of this stack. You can click on the star and drag it to the position that you want. Same thing, you can move the heart, you can move the circle, and you can drag things into position. And there are also short keys you can use. I know a lot of people, including myself, like to use short keys uh, to be able to move things around and do things a little quicker. Uh, if you click on the heart, click on Arrange, you can see if you wanted to move that to the back, you would click Shift, Control, and then the right-facing bracket, and that moves it. And you can be reminded of the shortcuts here by clicking on the Arrange tab at the top of the Edit bar. I'm on a PC, so mine says Control. If you're using a Mac, the Control would be replaced with the Command button. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the Arrange tool a little bit better. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Subscribe to my channel and check back for more Cricut Design Space Basics tutorials.